here to my right it was pretty special today and uh, did a great job keeping their hitters off balance. And, uh, you know, we did enough early in the game offensively. We actually had some chances and you know, we need to do a little bit better job with some of those opportunities, but we did enough with the way that she pitched today uh, to get it done. I thought the, the biggest pitch of the game was the strikeout of Jake Wish in the first inning, second and third one out. So, um, proud of our kids and the way they competed today. Brianna, uh, six strikeouts, just one walk. Your thoughts on uh, your performance and your team's play today? Um, I always think I can do a little better. I think one walk is still too much. So, But I'm definitely proud of my team. and. Uh, Opening the, the game like that is awesome. Like awesome, just going out there, getting that lead to begin with, puts it makes us like me a lot more confident going out there and trying my game. So it's all credits to them. So. Haley in the game when the hits are kind of precious. One hit uh, gets your RBI, uh, but uh, is the winning run. Your thoughts on that play and the game, please. Uh, well, we respect our opponent a lot. Uh, LSU is no feat, so we are just trying to come out and score as many runs early in the game, and that ended up only being one, and that ended up being enough, so we're just thankful for that. We pitched a great game. All right, let's take uh, questions first, uh, primarily for the student athletes, if we could. Go ahead, Brenda. Uh, Brianna, what did you, you were able to shut down Jake Bush, Bell, and Blossom, and you know, really good power there. What were you able to do to keep them so off balance? Um, we just had a good game plan going in there, so kind of just, I would say, just following the game plan that he set up, and um, just having the confidence with Sashel always reminding me like, hey, this girl did this, this and that. So definitely a lot of credit to him and Sashel. So it's awesome. Other questions? Right Go ahead. Yeah. Can you kind of put this game in perspective? You come into the, the five seed and you just throw a complete game set out. Just how big an accomplishment is this? Um, kind of just, just, just another game. So um, we were excited just to play them, come out here. and. It's exciting. Uh, during the game delays, uh, everyone's having fun in the dugout, but we were also focused, so it's awesome to see the way that like, everyone competed today. Other questions for you? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Uh, sorry. Yeah, can you talk about the first thing in particular? They get two all, they got the heat of the order coming up, and you get out without a run and kind of set the tone for the rest of the day. Um, so Shell came up to me and she was like, there's a lot of game, just go out there and throw, like have fun. And, um, Having her always talking to me like that is awesome. So, um, yeah, it kind of puts a little more pressure, but pressure is fun to play under, so it's awesome. All right, we'll open it up for questions for all three at this point. Go ahead. Great man. Josh, go ahead. Can I ask you about that? I mean, the situation she was able to get out of the, the bottom of the first with Bell and Jay was coming up. Yeah, I mean, I think early in the game, you know, sometimes it's about just settling down and, and being confident in what you're doing. And, um, you know, the pitch to Bell, the pitch to Jay, you know, to get those two out were huge. And then, you know, obviously a good pitch to get out of the inning too, but once you get to the two outs and you know you can get yourself out of the inning with one good pitch, it definitely makes a difference. So, um, you know, but again, the message was just keep just keep battling and uh, keep putting the ball where you want. And, you know, I thought we did a good job of that early all game, but we did a good job of that early in the game. Other questions, Richard? Do you think the one run was going to be enough, or do you think you're going to have to put on more runs as well as you might have? Well, I mean, it depends when you when I was thinking. You know, the first inning, you never think one run's enough. But as you get to the fifth and you see what she's doing to their hitters, um, you know, we're still trying to score more runs, obviously. But did I think I thought one run had a chance to hold up? You know, once we got kind of to that first delay and in that spot, uh, you know, she was she was hitting her spots, she was throwing strikes, and. Um, and change the speeds just enough to, to keep them a little bit off balance. So, yeah, there was a point in that game where I thought one run may well be enough to win. Absolutely. Let's uh, coach Yellen Alley, the position everybody wants to get to, where everybody else has to keep playing. How will you use these next 24 hours to get ready for tomorrow? Well, we'll, we'll uh, you know, we'll watch the, the late game today. Um, the coaching staff. I'm sure the players will watch it too when they get back to the hotel. Um, but uh, the biggest thing is, look, we're, we're in an environment that's a little bit different for us. So we need to make sure we stay hydrated, uh, we get some rest, and we come out ready to play tomorrow. And we got to make sure that we come out and play with the same kind of intensity and the same kind of focus that we did today, tomorrow, because this thing's not over yet. And that's exactly you know what best telling her kids. So and we get that, and uh, you know, we'll come out and play with that same kind of focus and same kind of effort tomorrow if we can do that give ourselves a chance. Other questions? All right, 